One of the most important uses of standard electrode potentials is for predicting the direction of redox reactions. Worked example 16.3 is typical, and you need to be able to make this kind of prediction quickly and confidently. We're being asked to predict what happens when Br2 is added to a solution that contains both Cl- ions and I- ions. Will Br2 oxidize Cl- to Cl2 or I- to I2? We're told that the concentrations are 1.0 moles per cubic decimeter, and that's standard concentration, so we can use the standard electrode potentials here. The rule to remember is that the more positive the value of E standard for a reaction, the greater the tendency to go in the direction written. The, the half-cell reactions are normally written like this, as reduction reactions with electrons on the left-hand side. When they're written in a list like this, with the most positive E standard at the top, the reactions are in order of oxidising power, with the most powerful oxidizer at the top. There's a fuller list on page 738. When you see a list like this, check that it has the most positive value at the top, because occasionally it's written the other way round. Now, a half reaction will oxidise any other half reaction that has a less positive value of E standard, and that means a half reaction that is lower down the list. So let's look at the reactions in this worked example. If the Br2 is going to act as an oxidizer, the half reaction will have to go in the direction written. But that means that the other half reaction will have to go in the opposite direction in order to provide the electrons that the Br2 is accepting. That means that the I- will be oxidized to I2 because it's below the Br2 half reaction. Now with the I- reaction being reversed, the sign of its E standard changes from plus 0.53 volts to minus 0.53 volts. But if you add together the plus 1.07 volts for the bromine half reaction and the minus 0.53 volts for the iodine half reaction, you get plus 0.54 volts. And this positive sign for the overall reaction confirms it will go. Br2 will oxidize I-. But Br2 won't oxidize Cl- because this half reaction is above the bromine half reaction. So Cl2 is a stronger oxidizer than Br2. Just a couple of warnings. First, these are standard electrode potentials, so the prediction only works for standard conditions. If the concentrations are a long way off 1.0 moles per cubic decimeter, you would need to calculate the electrode potential at the given concentration, using the Nernst equation on page 746. Second, E standard values only tell you about the thermodynamic feasibility of the reaction, but nothing about its kinetic feasibility. So you might predict that a reaction would be feasible and find it doesn't work in practice because it's kinetically very slow.